Hi all, welcome to another episode of Science Guru. If you are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe and enable the bell icon. Are you all excited? Yes, I know. And June is going to be an extremely exciting month as the amazing natural phenomenon solar eclipse is going to happen. Do you remember the annular solar eclipse we witnessed on 26th December 2019? After six months, we are going to witness another annular solar eclipse on 21st June 2020. So, we are going to discuss everything about solar eclipse in this episode. How Solar Eclipse Occurs A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth in a straight line and in the same orbital plane. The places on the earth's surface where shadow of the moon falls, one can see the solar eclipse. It's a fact that on every new moon, the moon comes in between the sun and the earth, but still no solar eclipse. Why? It's a simple geometry. The orbital plane of the moon is inclined by 5 degrees to the orbital plane of the earth around us. Due to this reason, shadow of the moon mostly passes above or below the earth. This makes the annular solar eclipse going to happen on June 21st, a unique one. Before moving to the different types of solar eclipses, we have to learn three important terms. First one is umbra. Umbra is the dark center portion of a shadow. The moon's umbra causes total solar eclipses and the Earth's umbra is involved in total and partial lunar eclipses. Second one is penumbra. Penumbra is the lighter outer part of a shadow. The moon's penumbra causes partial solar eclipses and the Earth's penumbra is involved in penumbral lunar eclipses. Third one is andumbra. It is the lighter part of a shadow that forms at a certain distance from the object casting the shadow and it is involved in annular solar eclipses. Next we are going to discuss the different types of solar eclipses. There are four types of solar eclipses. First one is total solar eclipse. Second one annular solar eclipse third one hybrid solar eclipse and fourth one is partial solar eclipse. First one total solar eclipse. Total solar eclipses occur when the new moon comes between the sun and the earth and casts the darkest part of its shadow the umbra on earth. A full solar eclipse known as totality is almost as dark as night. Second one, annular solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse happens when the moon covers the sun's center, leaving the sun's visible outer edges to form a ring of fire or annulus around the moon. Third one, hybrid solar eclipse. A hybrid solar eclipse is a rare type of solar eclipse that changes its appearance as the moon's shadow moves across the Earth's surface. It's a type of solar eclipse that looks like an annular solar eclipse or total solar eclipse depending on the observer's location along the central eclipse path. During a hybrid solar eclipse, the Earth's curvature brings some sections of the eclipse path into the moon's umbra, the darkest part of its shadow that creates total solar eclipse 
while other areas remain outside the umbra's reach, causing an annular eclipse. Fourth one is partial solar eclipse. Partial solar eclipse happens when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, but the moon only partially covers the sun's disk. Solar eclipses are beautiful to watch, but one must take some precautions while watching them. Don't look the sun directly during the solar eclipse as it can harm your vision. There are many methods to observe solar eclipses such as ball mirror, pinhole camera, solar viewer and telescope with solar filter. Total duration of this annular solar eclipse will be around 3 hours and 30 minutes. But this annularity will be visible only for 9 to 33 seconds on central line of the eclipse. So once again I am telling you do not look directly the sun. So I hope you like today's episode. So let's wait for June 21 for an amazing experience. Thank you.